Hi Heathens! So today's video is going to be a little get ready with me playing with some products that I use a little more than others and just like a little simple summer kind of glam and uh, without further ado we're going to get on in. I'm going to try to wear my hair down throughout this whole video because I'm trying a new like technique with my hair. I'm trying to actually take care of it. So like it's actually like really soft today and still has like some of the waves and body. So I want to try to not ruin that for as long as possible because I'm really bad about just throwing it up in a bun and calling it a day. So we're going to try to not do that in this video even though I know it's going to drive me absolutely bonkers to have it down because it's not something I'm used to. Um, I thought I had everything ready in front of me, but now I'm realizing I don't actually have a primer. So we're going to try this. This is the, if I can open it, is there any perforations? Maybe not. This is the Seraphine Botanicals Camilla, Camelina and Strobe Luminizing Primer. I want to say that I got this with points on Ipsy once and just haven't used it. So we're gonna give it a go. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna do this before I do my eyeshadow so that it has a chance to like sit. I hope this isn't too, like I hope this isn't one of those um, illuminating, not illuminating, iridescent primers because that would be awkward if all of a sudden my face was like glittery. And I haven't tried it before so I genuinely have no idea. Ooh, this is nice. It has like a soft earthy scent, like earthy and herbal. Not in a bad way though at all. It just smells natural. Mm, I quite like it actually. Okay, so we've got that down. I'm gonna let, like I said, I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit while I do my eyeshadow. I'm just gonna do a really simple eyeshadow look and I'm gonna be using the Pure Festival palette. This is the original one. There's also a 2.0. I don't know why some people's doesn't smell good because mine smells like frosting. So nice, but I have confirmed that some people's does not smell good. All right, so first I'm gonna go in with the shade Epic, which is like this light orangey tan. And I'm just going to use this to kind of tap all over the lid and gently blend out. So how is everyone doing? Is there any like shows you're into, movies that you've seen recently that were good? I went and watched, well, this was a couple weeks ago now, but I did go see the new Conjuring movie. Um, the Devil Made Me Do It. It's good. Especially if you're into the, like the Conjuring movies. I know there's a lot of kind of controversy surrounding those and Ed and Lorraine Warren. Um, but personally, I'm fascinated by them and their history. So, you know, teach their own. You know, nothing wrong with, you know, being skeptical or thinking that I'm tapping into Hidden Desert now. Um, a lot of people think they were taking advantage of people to get their money. And, like, I can definitely see, I'm letting a little more light because I feel like I just got washed out for some reason. Um, I can definitely see where they're coming from. But I feel like they really kind of pioneered the way for some of those beliefs. So for anyone who believes in the paranormal, uh, whether it's, you know, ghosts, demons, spirits, anything of that variety, I feel like they really paved the way for that to be kind of a thing. Obviously, there were plenty of people before them, but none that really did what they did to the extent they did. And like, got as famous for it. Um, but you know, that's neither here nor there. So again, any, any shows you've been watching, um, I just found out that iCarly, like the original is on Hulu. It's only the first two seasons, but I was watching that this morning 
and kind of like reliving part of my childhood. Yeah. Sorry, got distracted by the fact that it wasn't quite as even as I thought it was. All right, so now I'm gonna take a little shimmer. I'm gonna go in with, I think I'm gonna use the shade Peace. I don't think I've used that on camera before. Just a nice little gold. And we're just gonna put this on the remaining portion of the lid. No, I think I got out of frame there for a second. And then we're gonna jump to foundation and try to fly through that so that we can get the rest of these products. Because I don't have enough battery or memory, I think, to ramble on for too much longer and get distracted. So we're gonna make sure this whole look comes together in one piece so that I don't have to edit a second part onto it because that's a hassle because it's usually only like a minute or two. All right, now <clears throat> onto foundation. I'm gonna be using the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Foundation in the shade Light. So I haven't used this in a good minute and I have my brush ready. This is one that has a doe foot applicator. Giant, giant doe foot applicator. You get enough product each time you pull it out to do like a whole side of the face. And I like to go ahead and spread it around. Which is weird because I don't usually use that or I don't usually do that with my Makeup Revolution one that has a doe foot applicator. So I don't know why I like doing it with this one. Maybe it's the like texture of the foundation. Whoa, got a piece of hair in my eye. Um, and this one has a slightly more yellow undertone than the Makeup Revolution one. So maybe it's just to make sure that I'm properly blending it. I don't know, but it's just something that I always find myself doing with this foundation whenever I reach for it that I realize that I don't do with that Makeup Revolution one. And I think those two and my Rimmel London one that I love are the only ones that I use that have a doe foot applicator, I think. Mm, I might be wrong because I have a lot of foundations. Um, I'm trying to like picture the other foundations in my head. I know the CoverGirl one that I use a lot is a pump. Um, the KVD one that I've been trying out, oops, I got a little bit on my desk, is a like shake and squeeze. It's the portrait foundation. Um, the CYO, which they don't sell anymore, is a pump. The Honest Beauty is a pump. The Bare Minerals is a pump. The, the Maybelline one that I tried recently, the Superstay or whatever. Still not sure if I like that one. That's a pump. The Huda Beauty one that I recently tried is a pump. I wish more foundations, honestly, would have a doe foot. Because I like being able to apply it directly to my face, not having to put it on my hand and then wipe away any excess because I feel like on my face, like a doe foot putting it on my face, I waste less because I'm in a little more control of how much I'm choosing to put on my face. Whereas with a pump, you pump it, it comes onto your hand, either you don't get enough and you pump out more and then don't use it, or you pump it and it winds up being too much. Huh. This is sitting a little weird on my nose today. Like, I don't know if that's reading, but it's sitting a little heavier than I remember it sitting before. I don't know why this side, the color looks good. This side seems a little more orange. Is that just me? Maybe it's the light. I don't know, but I like this foundation. Normally it sets pretty well, but I do want to go ahead and set it down with my Ciate London um, Extraordinary Translucent Powder. 
can just shake a little bit out. Pick it up with this giant brush. This is supposed to be a blush brush from um, Shayna B. I got it in Ipsy, I believe. Uh, but I like it for powder. It has a nice shape for powder to like get over in that crease of the container so you don't have to shake out a lot. Ooh. That was almost dangerous. Ooh, you know what I didn't grab though? A blush brush. I should probably get that if I'm using blush, huh? Let's get the blush brush. Does anyone else like saying things like that where it just kind of comes out? Um, yeah, I can use this one. Alright, so for blush, usually I don't use blush. I want to use this one because I haven't in a while. And it's the AOA Studio Perfect Blush. And I have mine in the shade Darling. It's a very nice, like, pink nude. This may not be the best brush for this. Hmm. Yeah, let's try a different brush. Let's go with my normal blush brush, which is this BH Cosmetics number no. two brush. A little angled brush. This cheek might have a little more blush on it than the other one because there is a little bit from that first brush, but that's okay. Like it's just a nice, soft, subtle. Let's see if. Can see it better like that. Very soft and subtle. Um, I have a bump that's forming right beside my nose, like right in there, and it itches so bad. I don't know how people put up with this. It is the worst. Yeah, on the other side has a little bit more. Do, 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 do. Okay, now for highlighter, we are going to be using the ColourPop Super Shop Cheek in Counting Sheep. If I can open it. So I just take my ring finger, pick it up, and then pat it over the high points. This uh, is not for everyone because this one does have like little glitter flecks in it. And I know that not everyone enjoys glitter in their highlighter, but I am one of the people that doesn't mind it as long as it's not like thick chunks of glitter, you know what I mean? Like I'm sure you've all seen those highlighters. The only one of those that I enjoy is the, I don't remember even what they're called. But they're the KVD ones, and they use the Cover FX Aquamarine and Hydrating Crystal Infused Elixir Mist to set it. <clears throat> but, this stuff smells so good. <clears throat> it's the KVD ones, one's called like Gamma Ray. They have some chunky glitter, but I love them. Um, I don't know why I'm okay with it in those. Let's do for lashes. We're gonna go with the Tarts Camera Tarts Light Camera Lashes Mascara. Oh no! Son of a gun. I don't know if y'all saw that, but I know you see it under my eye. Oh, that's gonna be a pain to get off. Oh, you know what? I was gonna use this video and I forgot. I even pulled it out. My Morphe concealer. Getting that all up under my eye reminded me. Hey, there's a cat at the door. Would you have guessed? Son of a gun, and I don't even have a makeup wipe because I was like, I'm not gonna need one this video. So I have to try to gently tap it under my eye and get off the mascara without taking off the foundation. Does anyone have any tricks on that if you're not in the bathroom with a Q-tip? Because I know doing it on a Q-tip helps. 
Okay. You can definitely see where I did that. <laughs> the um, foundation is bunching from where the makeup wipe touched it. Can you... Uh, rude! Man. Can you see that? That's better. Now, try to finish the mascara. Lord have mercy. That just ate up precious time that I have on this camera. All because my stupid eye saw the wand and blinked. Does anyone else do that? Where you panic, blink, and mascara just goes everywhere? Or is that just my dumb brain? Okay. Then last but not least, we have lipstick. So this is the Belle and Argent Atour Cream lip color. And the shade of this is Into a Sandstorm. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous lip color. Nice light brown. I have lip balm on already. I accidentally um, broke this lipstick. That's why it sits crooked and the back is all damaged. Because I went to use it one day and I pushed it too hard and it busted. All right, well, that is it. This is today's look. Let's try to give you a little close up. That's it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have you tried any of these products? Are there any that you would like to try? Um, I'll leave links below if I can find them. And I might still have a code with Bell and Argent if you want to make a purchase and get a percentage off. I used to have a code for them. I'll double check. But anyway, this is it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to see more of my content. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!